The music takes them from where they are as being cold and a little temperature and a little nervous and it relaxes and reduces their stress. And to be able to do that through music is very nice. And I sit back on that and I, I try to compose the music in the way to where a song is going to be very relaxed. I look forward to it every year and it's it's somewhat the same because I put myself at the Big Speed Bridge uh, for the past five years. Yamaha Grand, Concert Grand Piano is brought to me at six in the morning. We set it up and we start playing and, and get rolling and the first runner comes by to the last runner. I go in about four, half, four and a half hours straight. But I recently had a diabetic stroke and that threw me in the hospital, threw me in the convalescent and back home again and now I'm taking care of myself. And I'm doing what the doctor says. For years and years, 20 years at least, uh, I got into it and I was, no matter what, I was told by the doctors that I wouldn't be able to play anymore, any longer, and I fought it, and I got five more years out of it. But uh, there's the point to where you have to continue to go on with the music, and where you can be as a teacher, where you can still teach with the music, and my philosophy is do what you can as long as you can, and then move on to the next thing. So it gets me in direct directing music for other people. I think people with diabetes and they also play music should relax and learn how to do what they do best. It's not so important to do what you used to do to compare that with what you can do now, as long as you're doing it. As long as you're participating and you're doing the best of what you can do at the best time, then that's it. That's the best. And you're giving that to people.